Hello, and welcome to National Post Maker Nation, a look at notable Canadian inventions. Hey, here's something Canadians didn't invent. Kraft Dinner. Yes, Kraft Dinner is one of our most beloved and iconic meals. It's made from Canadian ingredients, and it's one of the few processed foods that we managed to consume in greater proportions than the Americans. And did you know that former Prime Minister Stephen Harper is 36% Kraft Dinner? But the credit for inventing it goes to an unknown hero in the decidedly un-Canadian city of St. Louis. A salesman for Kraft, he was having trouble convincing Depression-era shoppers to buy the company's new product of fluorescent orange cheese powder. So one day he had a vision. Attach the powder to a box of macaroni and sell it as a ready-to-prepare meal. American and Canadian dorm rooms were never the same. But here's something that Canadians did invent. Shooting people out of cannons. Now to be clear, we didn't invent shooting people with cannons, although we're very good at it. Rather, it's a Canadian invention to put someone inside a cannon and fire them out of it for entertainment purposes. And it's all the doing of Ontario's William Leonard Hunt, aka the Great Farini, aka Canada's P.T. Barnum. Hunt first rose to prominence in 1860 as a high wire walker over Niagara Falls. But he didn't just walk the wire, he did headstands, somersaults, carried a man on his back, and even schlepped a washing machine out to the middle of the wire so he could do his laundry. By the 1870s, Hunt had stepped out of the spotlight to become a promoter and manager, and it's in this new role that he patented the idea of the human cannonball. It wasn't an actual cannon, it was a spring-loaded device that used pyrotechnics to simulate a chemical explosion. It debuted in 1877 firing British acrobat Rosa Zazel Richter over the heads of amazed London spectators. The human cannonball has since become a well-known symbol of the traveling circus, even though it's really, really dangerous. Your average lion tamer or trapeze artist can expect to reach old age, but according to circus historians, more than half of human cannonballs have been killed by the feet over their careers, with many more seriously injured. As for Hunt, he later became a manager of human oddities, including the world's most tattooed man and a Thai girl completely covered in hair that he legally adopted. He invented the folding theater seat, a better watering can, and an early parachute. In an old age, he became an explorer, historian, horticulturalist, and painter. Seriously, this guy's like a circus version of Alexander Graham Bell, except without an oligopolistic phone company named after him. 